In a bold move, C.J. Stroud's agency, Athletes First, has taken a stance against pre-NFL draft cognition tests following the controversy surrounding Stroud's low test scores. The agency, representing a pool of 2024 prospects, has instructed them to abstain from participating in any cognitive or psychological evaluations during the pre-draft process, citing concerns over confidentiality and the potential for public scrutiny. In an email addressed to NFL clubs and obtained by The Athletic, athletes first expressed its discomfort with the leaked results from Stroud's previous tests, highlighting the lack of privacy and the negative impact of public speculation on a player's intelligence and mental capabilities. The agency emphasized its commitment to protecting its clients from undue scrutiny and ridicule. Despite this directive, Athletes First's prospects will still engage in standard pre-draft physical activities and football-related interviews or film reviews, as outlined in the message conveyed to NFL teams. The decision comes in the wake of scrutiny directed at Stroud, who faced backlash after reportedly scoring poorly on the S2 test, with an 18 out of 100. Stroud himself dismissed the importance of such tests, asserting his focus on football performance rather than test scores. Despite initial doubts, Stroud's exceptional rookie season with the Houston Texans, leading the team to the playoffs and securing the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year award, solidified his prowess on the field. Meanwhile, contrasting performances from other top picks like Bryce Young and Anthony Richardson underscore the complexity of evaluating players based solely on cognitive tests. Young, selected first overall, struggled with the Carolina Panthers despite scoring a 98 on the test, while Richardson, chosen by the Indianapolis Colts, reportedly scored a 79. These variations in performance highlight the multifaceted nature of player evaluation, influenced by factors beyond cognitive abilities. Ultimately, the controversy surrounding leaked test results serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the importance of confidentiality and responsible handling of sensitive information in the evaluation process. While the validity of Stroud's scores remains debated, the broader implications of this incident prompt reflection on the ethics and efficacy of cognitive testing in professional sports.